Hello and welcome to the Video Game Valley. It is 72 degrees out on this lovely day. 72 beautiful, excellent degrees. <laughs> uh, how are you all doing? I'm doing alright. I got, I got a little bit of a headache, but that's okay. It's not too bad. How are you all? That's what I, <laughs> that's what I really want to know. Uh, we're playing, it's Sega Saturn Day. We're playing some, some Sega, Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn. <laughs> People are doing okay. Someone's a demon. Oh god. <laughs> Cerberus, jeez. I've seen better days. Well, I hope you see better days ahead as well. I want to read you the back of this box. Sega Saturn? Yes, this is... <laughs> For those of you new to these streams, uh, I got... I got more games on the Sega Saturn than literally any other system. Including, I think, modern day systems too, I think. <laughs> like, I've got a lot of Xbox 360 and PS4 games. Uh, but geez Louise, do I have a lot of Sega Saturn games. Mike, thank you for the five dollars. Hey Jason, I really wanted to say that I love all of your content and how positive you are all the time. It really helps me out. Oh, that's good. I'm <laughs> it's, it's weird hearing that, because like, in my own head. Lots of, lots of negative thoughts, kind of constantly, so I'm glad, I'm glad, uh, I don't know, I'm glad, <laughs> glad I'm able to be a force of positivity for you. I, I appreciate that, that, that makes me feel better. It feels like a lie, <laughs> it feels like a lie, but maybe if I live the lie long enough, it will become a truth. Why choose hi Hideline to play? I've never actually played this. I just got this today. This is one of those Sega Saturn games that I've wanted, but never got. I want to read you the back of the box. Are you ready? I want to read... <laughs> here's, here's the back of this, this case here. To experience RPG any more real, you would have to go there yourself. Action RPGs don't get more real than this. Discover the ultimate fantasy world in this compelling epic adventure. An enchanted realm known as the Dream World has been captured by an army of supernatural warriors. Zombies, vampires, and more infest the once peaceful land awaiting new battles and conquests. You are a hero born to the sword... Your mission is to free Dreamworld from the grip of the undead marauders by using your wits, your sword, and few magic items you uncover in your travels. There should be... <laughs> there's some words that feel like they're missing here. Do you have the brains and the brawn necessary to defeat the unspeakable horrors, or will you fall and become one of the walking dead? Yep. First 3D polygonal action RPG for any new generation system. Digitized main character for the ultimate in realism. Computer graphics and 3D backgrounds created on high-tech workstations. Unique create world function. Explore a new world every time you play. Use magic potions, rings, and weapons in your heroic quest to save dream world. Over 40 billion possible worlds awaiting your exploration. 40 billion. <laughs> no, yeah, 40 billion. What, uh, what drew me to this game was I looked up... I looked up some video of this game. It is like... It's Sega Saturn graphics. But they also shot some dude... <laughs> dude in front of a green screen and just kind of plopped him in there and like when you get armor and stuff it looks <laughs> it looks very silly it looks extremely silly and I'm very excited so are you ready to go on the most realistic RPG adventure you've ever seen you sons of guns <laughs> are you ready cause we're going on an adventure alright 
First, we gotta see the little spaceship. The little <laughs> Sega Saturn spaceship. Even when I'm alone, just playing this by playing stuff by myself, I always want to look at that little ship. <laughs> the little ship. Here we go. Virtual headline. Virtual. Highlight the realm of the virtual. Mike, thank you for the five dollars. I hope those negative thoughts in your head are replaced with all the joy you bring to many. And I always look forward to your laughter. Oh, I hope so too, thank you. <laughs> well, I already like how this is starting out. Oh no! Oh no, a darkness has taken over the realm. Mike is sweet. <laughs> Everyone... Mike, Mike is great. Thank you, Mike. You've started off this stream in a... Oh my god, what was <laughs> Oh no, the... Is she a princess or just a... A duchess? Well, there's three fairies now. I don't... <laughs> I don't really understand what happened, but sure. Virtual hide line. Atlas, huh? <laughs> oh, I guess the music just just stops, huh? Sure. Well, I guess we'll just wait for <laughs> something else to happen now. Now loading the virtual world of hide line. Difficulty. Definitely easy. Absolutely easy. Sam Jackson. Uh, Sam Jackins. Thank you for the five dollars. Did Sausage Cat ever find his butt? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm, so, I'm sorry to not be able to give you a definitive answer. I haven't actually decided on that. <laughs> Let's see. A is guard. B, attack one. C, attack two. Sure. Run. Map. Inventory. Yeah, that's all, that all checks out. Sure. Screen. Sure. Audio. Sounds good. Let's create a new world. Are you ready? We're creating one of 40 billion possible worlds. <laughs> there are 40 billion different worlds in this one game. We have no idea which one we're gonna get. We might get... Oh, we can create a world with a code? That's cool. <laughs> uh, let's just go randomly. Create a new world, are you sure? This is a big moment. <laughs> this is a big, big moment. We're creating a whole world. I can't. <laughs> it's like the beginning of a of an '80s sci-fi movie or something. I don't know. I feel like I feel like we're gonna click this button and I'm gonna get sucked into this game. <laughs> uh, I'm genuinely excited. Let's let's do it. Oh my god! Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> oh god! That's pretty, that's wonderful. <laughs> I'm so happy about this, man. Look at that world. We're now entering world K Q S B R L R. Okay, well, we're entering some some sort of world. Oh, here we are. <laughs> we're we're in this world now. Uh, uh. Web, 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 web. Man, <laughs> I, I absolutely 100% love the way this looks. I wish it didn't run at like two frames a second. <laughs> that would be nice if it ran a little bit better. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I got a knife again. That's, that's very exciting. I don't know what the difference is between attack one and attack two. This is attack one. This is attack two. 
I guess attack two slightly faster. What's the goal of this game? Uh, we're trying to save Dream World. <laughs> Just trying to try to save Dream World. All right. I guess we're going to the X. Cool. Look at this. This is like a little map. This is perfect. This is one of 40 billion possible worlds. That means what you're seeing here, probably no one else has ever seen. Most likely no one in the world has ever seen something quite like this. <laughs> I love this guy they got. <laughs> it's me, Hero Man. <laughs> I like these trees, too. <laughs> these are beautiful trees. Alright. Well, I guess... I guess we're going this way. A lot of, a lot of running. <laughs> Oh, uh, what, a, what a big world, huh? <laughs> oh no, what? There's like little, there's like little lizard people. What is that? Can you see that? There's little lizard people. Oh God, you son of a gun. Jeez, I couldn't see them at first. <laughs> All right, there's something over there. I don't, I can't tell from here. If it's a creature or a... yeah, I guess it's a little blob. It's like a little blob. Try to stab this blob. <laughs> yeah, I got I got some jelly, I guess. All right, time to continue my run. Oh, there's another blob. Come here, blob. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, got that, got that blob. Okay, so we gotta cross this dirt, get to some lighter dirt, and then some browner dirt, and then avoid the the lake <laughs> and go through some trees. I right, got it, got it. Onward to adventure. <laughs> Onward to adventure through this virtual world of Hydeline. I oh, know this is the lake. Yeah, this is the lake I'm supposed to avoid. Oh, it's, it's, it's very pretty. I want to walk into it. I guess I can't. That's okay. <laughs> Oh, this is the path. This is the way we uh, must go. Thank you, uh, uh, Cerberus Waltz, for the two dollars. A knife. The hunt for Cheryl begins. <laughs> Just looking for Cheryl in every game. Uh, Mike, thank you for the two dollars. ATK one cut butter. ATK two spread butter. Yes, <laughs> cut and spreading butter. That's that's a good way to to put these attacks to describe these these wonderful virtual attacks oh no it's another blob I must attack the blob with my knife of justice whoa what is that tree doing the tree's alive <laughs> oh god it's a little ant come here you son of a gun ant Oh no, it's another ant! Oh no! God, that one hit, that one hit almost did me in! There's no way I'm, I'm surviving this! Run, run! Run, hero! <laughs> Get out of there! Alright, I need to find some sort of life juice. <laughs> Those ants really messed me up, huh?
check my inventory, see if I got any sort of life juice. Fairy crest? What is a fairy crest? Evidence of courageous fairy warriors, you can confirm the existence of fairies. Is that what that does when I use it? It confirms the existence of fairies? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Hero, you can use this crest. If you use it, uh, you'll get confirmation about fairies, I guess. Nothing happens. Oh, uh, I guess fairies is still up for debate. <laughs> oh, perfect. Wonderful. Alright. Data. No, I don't care about that stuff. Immortal One, thank you for the two dollars. Cerberus Waltz, thank you for the, the two dollars. Where are the potions promised on the cover? That's right, that's right. I was specifically promised potions, and I don't see a single gosh darn potion so far. Yeah, there's a lot of trees. <laughs> How close am I? I'm pretty close to that shiny thing. Maybe it's a potion that I'm running to. Yeah, whoever mentioned that this is like a bad game to play with a headache is, is totally right. Like, I cannot believe this, this... This extraordinary freight rate. I'm trying to think... I think this might be like... I think this might actually be like five frames a second. <laughs> it's whatever it is, it's pretty dire. But that's okay. You can't expect a realm so realistic to be generated at more than a mere five frames a second. It's impossible with any <laughs> with any technology. I guess I'm here. You regain health if you stand still. Alright, I'm just gonna stand here, keeping solemn watch. I've got 8 out of 200 health. Let's see how long it takes to go up to 9 out of 200 health. Now I can see a little lizard man in the background. Let's hope the lizard man doesn't see me. Well, so far, so far, I really don't, <laughs> I really don't seem to be gaining any health here. If anything, I would say I'm losing health, because, like, this is time I could be spent gaining health. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going to gain any health by just standing around. Oh man, I know there's a lizard around here somewhere. <laughs> there he is, there's the lizard son of a gun, get over here. Maybe the lizards drop potions. Murder this little... Oh no, oh no, I got, <laughs> I got killed! Alright. Well, I'm dead. The adventure begins anew. I assume. Oh, I can continue, sure. <laughs> Let's continue this adventure. What is the story? I don't know, there was... There was a woman in a manor, and then some sort of demon showed up and blew up the manor, and then there were three fairies. <laughs> and then a man in the forest... Oh, I'm, I'm just restarting from where I was. All right, cool, but I got all my health. It turns out dying was the health goo. Now loading the graveyard, what? This <laughs> is cool. Uh, I'm very excited to see this graveyard.
I like the spooky music. Yeah, there's no way someone's not gonna pop out of one of these graves. <laughs> oh no! Someone popped out of one of the graves! You son of a gun! Get back in there! Get back! Get back in there! <laughs> Is this where I'm going this grave? Stop turning with me. <laughs> I guess this is where I'm supposed to be. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do though. Brendan, thank you for the two dollars. What is your opinion on the Thundercats? They're okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have strong opinions on the Thundercats. Servers Walsh, thank you for the two dollars. I thought horror game night was last night. You all got bamboozled. There's two spooky games in town this week. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Gotta rob the grave? Yeah, I guess. How do I do that? <laughs> Brendan, thank you for the two dollars. What about Captain Planet? I like Captain Planet. Captain Planet! Is that what he says? Does he say his own name like that? Or is that, am I thinking of someone else? Well, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here, so I guess I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I guess I'll just leave the graveyard. Oh no! Zombo. Oh god, multiple Zombos. Get over here, you sons of guns. Get. You're not allowed to be out of the ground. You died. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should probably I should probably block more. <laughs> That's probably something I should do. All right. Well, I guess I'm I guess I'll just leave. <laughs> Clearly, no one here wants me here. Now loading. Field. Loading the field. Oh, there's so much field to load. <laughs> God, this is so much field. <laughs> Why are you making me load so much field? Brendan, thank you for the two dollars. I have no idea. I know nothing about Captain Planet. Well, there you go. <laughs> now, this is definitely where I'm supposed to be. I guess we'll go back. <laughs> Jack, thank you for the five dollars. Careful, your character has a knife. <laughs> I'll be very careful. Good night, Jack. Oh man, what am I, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> Mike, thank you for the five dollars. As much as I hate to leave, I must be off as I have eaten a big bowl of spicy, cheesy chili. And being lactose intolerant, this was a mistake. Wish me luck. Oh, jeez, 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 Louise, Mike, that was a bad, that was a mistake, all right. Well, you, how are you gonna get out of this one? <laughs> what a conundrum. Well, Mike, I hope, I hope you're all right. God, let me, let me look up the controls again. Controls. Yeah, I don't see anything here that would be like action. <laughs> I can, I can stab two different ways. I can protect my precious hero face, and I can move around 
Oh no, run X is action. Okay, no, <laughs> there is a button that is action. Sometimes, like, whole entire words I just miss. I just, just the word's right there. And I just miss it. Oh god, what? <laughs> well, I just punched that grave open and got a crucifix, so... I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> I seriously... I can believe. I can 100% believe that I missed that. Oh, I'm level 2 now! Yeah, look at that, it just straight up just says action. Run and also action. Let's see what items we have. The crucifix. Cross blessed with spiritual power. All weapons gain holy power. <laughs> cool. Sure. Put on... Oh, but I can't have my ring of power then. What does the ring of power do? Oh, I could just carry heavier stuff. No, I want I want holy power. <laughs> Nothing happens again with a fairy crest, so fairies still don't exist. <laughs> blah 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 blah. It's too scary here. I'm get about. <laughs> blah 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 blah. blah. I should probably save, because we accomplished something. <laughs> and I would hate to have to accomplish it another time. So let's definitely save. Data, save data, I'm right here. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> uh, okay, well we got another X to go to, I guess. We'll see, we'll see what's up with that X. Running through the forest. What is my character wearing? I don't <laughs> I like I like this outfit. I've got my Renfair pants and a bag sh sack shirt and also bat wings, I guess. I got these <laughs> little bat wings. They call me Batser. I am Batser here to save the day. Da, 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 da. How close are we? We're getting pretty close. Let's hope we don't run into any dastardly lizards again. Oh no, lizards! <laughs> Somehow I knew the lizards would be here. Whoa! Stop it! <laughs> Stop! Uh, this is some sort of building. Yep, this is where we're supposed to be. Let's try to figure out how to get in. I thought there was an opening here. Nope. Aha! Uh -huh. This looks like an opening. Is it just me or is the frame gotten e the frame rate gotten <laughs> even worse somehow? <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but it has. <laughs> Vampire's Mansion. <laughs> You can't just have me walk into a place and only after I've already entered let me know. Oh, by the way, this is a vampire's mansion. <laughs> you gotta tell me that beforehand. Alright, well, there's a little clock. 
not the music I was expecting for Vampire's Mansion. Let's go in this door. <laughs> oh, the vampire's sitting room. The vampire's bed without pillows. Because vampires don't need pillows, you son of a gun. No, is it? Can I open the dresser? Can I look? Can I look at the dresser? No. All right. It is very hard. <laughs> it is very hard to move around in this. <laughs> As you can imagine, I mean, just just from the frame rate alone, there's some difficulties. Let me tell you. <laughs> I guess I could use the, yeah, let me, let me scooch this way. God, it's so hard! <laughs> oh no, bet! What? No, get out of here! Is that a vampire or is that just a regular bat? Oh my god. <laughs> come on, come over here, you son of a gun bat! You jerk! Why can't I stab you, Bat? <laughs> Here I am again. <laughs> it's two games in a row. Two games in a row trying to stab a bat to death. <laughs> uh. Alright. Well, that's done. Let's try this door. Yeah, we, we messed that bat up. <laughs> what is this? What is this little thing? Can I, can I use this? Apparently I can. I don't know what it does though. It's just, it's just blinking now. Well, I've activated an orb. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I'm glad I activated an orb. I, I always like activating orbs. Like, I'm not joking at all, I love activating orbs. <laughs> That's like, a thing I'm always excited to do in a game. Yep, the frame rate's definitely taking a hit inside this, <laughs> inside this mansion. We were running at a pretty smooth five frames a second. And I think at this point we're definitely at more like two. Get over here, you bat. You bat jerk! Oh no, another bat. Let's try this door. Oh no, there's a bat in there! <laughs> in this door. There's a bat. <laughs> this, this vampire's just keeping lots of bats in here. That's 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 cool. <laughs> I guess if I was a vampire, I'd keep a lot of bats in my my little mansion. That's fine. This door... Might be something in here. 
Those bananas. <laughs> what is this? What is this on the floor? 2,000 gold pieces? <laughs> Just casually picking up 2,000 pieces of gold. <laughs> it looks like someone dropped dropped 2,000 pieces of gold on the ground here. Oh good, another orb. Let's activate the crap out of this orb. Yeah, you're activated now. Alright, well I can't imagine there's anything else in this room. We got some gold. We activated an orb that's about as much as I can expect from any room in this game, I imagine. Spikes? No. I thought <laughs> there was like spikes coming out of the wall. It's just popping. You think you're so tough with your big armor? I want that armor. <laughs> I want your armor. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can go upstairs. God, <laughs> this is so hard moving around. Oh, this is so <laughs> Why are there so many doors? Can I take this vase? No. Nah. Well, is there something in the ground? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a little plant. I got herb. <laughs> I got some herb. Attack the chair. Okay. No, I don't think that does anything. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna do anything. Anything in this room? Any more herbs or orbs or gold? No, uh, nothing in this room. <laughs> oh no! Hey, you son, of, you son of a gun! God, get out of my way. I don't care about you, bet. Stop! <laughs> Just don't follow me! Oh, nothing in here. The bat's still there. Hey! Hey, <laughs> get, get over here! Yeah, that's right. Take, take that, <laughs> son of a gun! Ah, uh, no! Stop biting my face! <laughs> Stop! God. Just leave me alone. Oh, there's another floor. Okay. I haven't... Oh, no. I can't... There's just too many... Too many frames. Too many frames. Too many... Too many frames. <laughs> no. Stop. Stop biting me. I can't use these books. <laughs> I 
Nope, alright. Oh, it's another orb! <laughs> cool! <laughs> well, that's a third orb active. God, there's just so many of these bats. This place has got a huge bat problem. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just gonna go upstairs, because I... I can't remember which rooms I've gone into. The door is sealed by a mysterious power. Probably the orbs. <laughs> I haven't found enough orbs. Ugh, all right. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go find some more orbs. What? What is happening? What, what is in here? Oh, it's just a zombie, alright. And a lot of bats. Just a ridiculous number of bats. I don't see any orbs though, so I think I could just leave this room, right? There's definitely not any orbs here. I see it. Are there any orbs in here? Oh, there is an orb. No, and a bat. A dastardly bat. I might have to try that herb. <laughs> oh, God. Stop. Stop. All right. Oh, look, there's more gold. No, it's a club. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was uh, some more gold, but I got a little club, okay. Let's, let's, oh, I got a little map, okay, cool. Cerberus Waltz, thank you for the two dollars. Save, maybe. A quit killing the flying doggos. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's a good idea to, to save. <laughs> Items. Club. Oh no. No, I didn't mean to drop it. I was trying to look up info. You get club. You get club. You all get club. Poisonous herb? Oh no! <laughs> uh, I, was, I was relying on that herb. I was like, yeah, I gotta. <laughs> gotta get some of that. So, some of that herb. Heal me up. Nope. Oh no! What if, I, what if I use the Ring of Power? No. Alright, well. <laughs> Glad I got that club. Alright, so vampires at this point are pretty. I mean, bats at this point are pretty dire. Because I don't have enough life. 
No, don't, don't bet me. No. <laughs> oh, where am I going? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, oh no, I don't have enough orbs yet. <laughs> oh, you son of a gun, door. Oh, this is so bad. You son of a gun, door. Let me in. <laughs> Let me in. I don't want to go back downstairs. It's too hard to walk around. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right. All right, we're doing okay. <laughs> we're doing okay. The son of a gun game doesn't got us done yet. Stop it. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> the son of a gun did get, did done us. Game over forever. It's all over. You, you done died. Enter your name. Your rank is number six. <laughs> oh, cool. My name is also number... Six. Number six is number six. Cool. Loading. Uh, all right, you know what? I think <laughs> I think fifty minutes is enough of this game. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna load up a different game for the remainder of this stream. <laughs> Some other Sega Saturn game that's hopefully not gonna aggravate my headache as much. <laughs> we got we got through 50, 50 minutes. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I hope <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. That virtual world. I have to say I uh I don't know I don't know what I was expecting, but I quote unquote enjoyed it. <laughs> it was certainly something. I'll say that for the game. A lot of games I load up and it's like, well, I don't think that was anything. <laughs> but that was, that was something. I'm gonna load up a game that is probably, I don't know, I wanna find a game that I don't wanna spend more than 10 minutes on. <laughs> let's, uh, let's find one of those. Mike, thank you for the uh, the two dollars. Do you see a specialist about your headaches? Yes.
All right, this is another game that I got recently. I think it's a fighting game. I'm not actually sure. It's called Resurrection Rise 2. <laughs> I have, I have, oh my God. Oh my God, it's so loud. Well, it's, this is definitely a start. Resurrection, rise to set up this son of a gun. Language in English difficulty one zero. Okay, <laughs> difficulty zero to twenty three. Sure, <laughs> controller. <laughs> Wait, I want. Yeah, oh, these are good good sound effects here. I love the stretched title in the background. X Y Z A B C. Yeah, those are the buttons. Those are the buttons, all right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know those. What is P one, P two, P three, K one, K two, K three? I don't know. Who knows? Loader, war, necro, borg, rook, crusher, vandal, salvo, sarkion, d10, gorilla, insane, prime b, lock jaw, v1, hyper, hyper, deadlift, cyborg, step and waff. Crone Max. <laughs> well, we gotta go with Crusher, because look at this. I, don't, I have no idea what's even going on with this. So definitely Crusher. Oh, what a... I'm picking the colors. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. I guess, I guess... The, I'll go with that. Crusher versus Loader. <laughs> Here we go. Crusher is gonna fight Loader, and it's the fight of the century. Oh no. Oh no, stop. This is certainly something. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is this is something. <laughs> Actually I think on further reflection this game is not something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I don't think there's anything here. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Crusher wins. Man, that voice really, really, really wants me to engage. Do it. Engage. To hit chaos. Sure. Server's walls. Thank you for the there's two dollars. Why must they fight? Why cannot they smooch? That's a very good question. <laughs> Come on, Crusher and Loader. You have more in common than you have indifference. You're both weird robots that I can't tell what your design is. <laughs> Crusher wins. Execution. Crusher wins. Yeah, that was a cool execution right there. Just kind of whacked, <laughs> whacked the robot. Well, we, we did it. We... we Oh no, I'm fighting myself now. Oh, what a, what a crisis.
It's me versus me. I don't know who I want to win. <laughs> if I win, I also lose. But if I lose, I win. So it's really, it's a, it's a win, win, lose, lose, I guess. <laughs> Crusher wins, but Crusher also loses. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Come on, Crusher, you can do it. You know which one I'm talking about. I'm talking about the... The good Crusher. <laughs> it was very good. <laughs> I'm just jamming one button. Just, just hitting the B button over and over again. Well, I think that's enough for this game. <laughs> I think, I think that's enough. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think that's enough. Stop spamming the same move? Why? <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> that's that's the only way. The only way to fight is hitting one button over and over again. Alright, we're gonna play one more game. And then the stream will end for the night. We're playing the premier Sega Saturn tennis game, Virtua Open. Another game I have not played on the Sega Saturn, but we're gonna play it here. Here's some tennis buddies. Yeah! Yeah, look at these intense 3D graphics. And sax music. <laughs> I like all these extreme camera angles. <laughs> what does tennis even mean, you know? I want you to play this cutscene at my funeral. <laughs> I just want a, a huge TV to just start blaring this. Virtua Open Tennis. <laughs> uh, wonderful. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do more of that spinning. Options. Options. Replay on, definitely. Sure. All sounds good. <laughs> sounds good to me. <laughs> Exhibition? Sure. Exhibition. That sounds right. Style. Singles. Player. Is this asking me if I... Why is the default the Sega Saturn playing against itself? <laughs> what? Is what? One set, sure. Let's go with a lavender court. <laughs> Alan West. Hey, I'm Alan. I'm the all-rounder. 
Ah, uh, <laughs> Fox Rose. I'm the ground stroker. <laughs> hey, I'm Robert Sheldon. I'm the servant volleyer. I am Lorenzo Suarez. I'm also a ground stroker. That's right. I'm Alexei Ivanov. I'm an all rounder as well. Hi, it's Jason Lee, ground stroker. <laughs> Hey, it's me, Anders Rosenberg. I'm a servant volleyballer. Simon Lopez here, ground stroker extraordinaire. Jimmy Walker, all-rounder. Rio Ibuki, I'm a serve and volleyer. All right, so <laughs> we gotta go with a ground stroker. Let's go with Fox Rose. <laughs> Computer. Computer is uh, also gonna be a ground stroker. Simon Lopez. No loading, please wait. Oh no, someone went and made these letters all sideways. Fox versus Simon. Final set. First game. Getting ready. It's so funny, I can just do this. <laughs> I'm just gonna step back and forth. Yep, yep. Getting ready for the perfect shot. Uh, getting ready. Getting ready for this perfect shot. <laughs> Check the wind, oh yeah. Yep. Yep, there's wind all right. Ha <laughs> 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 I didn't even hit it, what? Oh no, uh, <laughs> Well. Well, I fucked that up. That's okay. <laughs> oh, wait, was I supposed to do something? Ha ha ha! Yeah, I don't need. I, I don't really need to see this. Uh, nope. <laughs> Double fuck. Well, I de I'm definitely not particularly good at this. That's okay. Fault. Yeah! Uh, oh, fault. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Yeah! Oh, no. Good replay. <laughs> Second game. Why am I? Why is the camera over on this side now? I don't want to be. 
I don't understand. Why is the character camera on the other side now? That's the logo. That's the logo. <laughs> Ah, you son of a gun! That's right. <laughs> <Double fall. laughs> oh man, I'm really glad you got a double fall because I totally blowed up that move. Ah, <laughs> oh, is it bad? <laughs> is it bad? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready for you, you son of a... Oh, I wasn't ready. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not particularly good at this, but that's okay, you know, sometimes... Some... Oh yeah, that is Planet Earth up there. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know why... Where are we? <laughs> What's going on? That's right. We're playing on the space station. Oh. Out. Oh. <laughs> Writer chick forever. Thank you for the two dollars. Moon tennis. Moon tennis. Tennis on the moon. But I think I think that's enough tennis. My name, thank you for the 199. Welcome to the FN Moon. We got tennis. That's right, we do. Well, thank you for joining me for uh, virtual hide light and resurrection rise two and virtual open tennis. <laughs> I had a good a good time. Uh, my headache's a little worse, but that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. That happens. Thanks for some questions now. Uh, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. Not not streaming Sunday, but I will be streaming again Monday. Uh, playing some Mario. Some Mario Brothers. <laughs> Super Mario 64, in fact. Most overrated Disney film. I don't know. What's <laughs> that uh, that live action Beauty and the Beast did like super well at the box office. I don't know if how well regarded it is. I saw it and thought it was like fine. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> so I guess that one. Drink some water and go to bed. Oh, I've had I've had lots of water. It's not nearly time for bed though. My name, thank you for the 499. Why don't you curse? It's empowering like watching a washer machine with a brick in it. You know you can't help, but you're not gonna. Oh, I don't know, I curse a lot. <laughs> I curse I curse a ton. I got lots of lots of curses in the in the video video games. I'm just assuming that like I don't know. I feel like people are going to stumble upon this stream who don't know what they're getting into. So, this is, so I just try to try to keep it a little. I don't want to get people in trouble. I don't know. That's. I don't want to get little little children in trouble as they try to watch some virtual hide line. <laughs> Mom, I was just trying to watch virtual hide line, and then. The person in the valley was like, F, F all this, <laughs> F that lizard, F that zombie, F all these bats, these effing bats, they're no, they're no good, they're no GD good. <laughs> But yeah, no. If you watch, if you watch my videos, uh, I I curse a lot, curse a lot in them. What is the capital of Utah? 
Utonia. My name, thank you for the 199. FM dude, I bet you could take those kids on. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, maybe some kids are pretty tough. I don't know. There's some tough kids out there. Florida is sweaty, yes. Yeah, Florida's Florida's real hot. It's a real hot place. It's a lot of swamp. It's a very wet heat <laughs> too. It's it's a wet, gross, froggy heat. Florida isn't real. Oh no. Oh no, my 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 world <laughs> It's all gone. What's the first video game you remember playing? Uh, there was, there's a couple of them, and I don't know which one actually came first. There was one on this, this old, uh, Apple II we had, it was like a helicopter, and there was a man hanging from the helicopter, and you would hit the space bar, and the man would drop off, and you had to have him land in a little wagon going, going below. I like that game, because when you missed the wagon, it was still fun, because the guy just, like, he goes, <laughs> and he just, he just squished. It was, it was no good. Also, Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail. That was another, <laughs> this was another game I remember playing. And I don't know if I played that one first or uh, the man in the helicopter one. My name, thank you for the 499. If you had to swallow a golf club, what style, size, and brand would you choose? I don't know. What's the smallest one? <laughs> I'd pick the smallest. I don't know brand, golf club brands either. Carsan, thank you for the, the two British pounds. Jason, I bought a thigh master for you. It's me. Oh, Carsan, you and your thigh shenanigans. Ever played a stall? Yes. Yeah, I got that on the, on the Saturn. It is a short but very good platformer in terms of art. <laughs> in me mechanics, it's all right. It's not great. But it, it does have some very beautiful artwork. Master Vale, no, Mayor Vale. <laughs> Mayor Vale, thank you for the 199. What is your opinion on skeletons? They're everywhere, but we never think about that, you know? They're all over the place. You walk into a room filled with people, and you never think, there's a bunch of ske <laughs> skeletons in here. A bunch of son of a gun skeletons just hanging out, hiding. We're all skeletons, if you think about it. But you don't think about that. What would you do if Full Sail asked you to teach film studies? I would, <laughs> I would not be a good, good teacher there. I don't know. They did ask... <laughs> there was a... <laughs> let, me, let me just tell you a, 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 little, a little Full Sail story. Um, when I was at Full Sail, uh, when I was in the editing class, like, I wasn't, I'm like, had just learned how to edit. I had just, just learned how to edit, not, not how to edit, so I had edited before with, like, Final Cut Pro, but I just learned Avid, which was, like, the professional editing, and I just learned the Avid systems. And uh, my teacher was like, "Hey, what are you, what are your plans after school?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna probably do some freelancing stuff while I try to figure out what what I want to do." And he was like, "You want to be a teacher here?" 
And I laughed. <laughs> I laughed at him because I thought he was joking. <laughs> but no, he was just like, yeah, you could be a teacher, why not? I was like, man, I'm like, what was I? I was like 19 years old. <laughs> 19, had just learned. And he wanted me to come in and be an editing teacher. And I learned later on that, like, a lot of the teachers at Full Sail are just students who couldn't get jobs. <laughs> it's like, that's kind of how they get most of their teachers, I guess. It's just people go to Full Sail, and then they don't get jobs after they graduate, and so they work in Full Sail. <laughs> I don't know. There's a number of classmates that I had that I think are working at Full Sail now, I think... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that's... that has happened. So yeah, the... not... not... there were a couple of good teachers at Full Sail. There was a couple, but then most of them were kind of like... Well, yeah, you probably went here and then <laughs> couldn't get a job and then decided to teach here instead. Mike, thank you for the $5. I wanted to say I appreciate you taking time to talk to your fans and make us feel important and loved. You are important and loved. Not not just you, Mike. <laughs> I don't mean to, to just direct that at you, but yeah, all, all the, the people here. I like I like talking with with everyone in chat. I'm sorry that my headache is making me slightly more insensible than usual. I feel a little delirious, but that's okay. It's okay to be a little delirious sometimes. <laughs> Probably not in a job interview. You don't want to be delirious at that point. Not when you're doing major surgery. <laughs> you don't want to be a little delirious then. When streaming in a valley, sure. That's, that's the time for it. My name, thank you for the four ninety nine. I have a sugar ant problem. I have eaten so many, but more p keep coming. Any other suggestions on getting rid of them? Well, you're already trying the main thing. You're, you're already eating them all up. Uh, I, I guess... I guess you can either just get lots and lots of sugar and hope that they just gorge themselves to death. <laughs> that's, that's, my, that's my main suggestion just try to overfeed them Jason what brand of ginger beer do you like I drink S fever tree premium ginger beer it's used primarily as a mixer but I like it because it's much stronger than other ginger beers on account of they assume you're going to be <laughs> mixing it with stuff I guess but I like it it's very uh it's spicy. How do you procure your games? Uh, I go to, uh... There's, there's a couple of uh, used game stores around. And I either get them there, or through eBay or Amazon. Oh yeah, thank thank you for the reminder, Amber. I got a PO box. If you want to send me anything, I don't think I've gotten sent. I don't. I haven't gotten sent any games yet. I did. Someone sent me a box of jelly beans. So thank you. I forget. I forget who sent me that. There was a note with it, and I I meant to bring the note to the valley so that I could thank the person on stream. But uh, but thank you. Haven't been sent any games yet though. But I haven't been to my P.O. Box in like a week, so it's possible something's shown up. Do you like ginger candy? Yeah, I like, I like lots of ginger stuff. What Sega Saturn game do you like the most? 
Uh, I really like Nights into Dreams. That's a good. That's a good one. This is gonna <laughs> gonna sound really boring, but I really like Gun Griffin. <laughs> it's a game where you're in like a little mech and going around shooting stuff, which is exactly the kind of game that I don't really like. But for some reason, Gun Griffin's very fun. It's just the way it's programmed. You kind of just speed around. It feels like you're you're skating. <laughs> It feels like you're skating around the map and you, you jump up in the air and you're kind of floating around. It's just really fun running around in that game. Those are the obvious choices. Is Gun Griffin an obvious choice? I don't see Gun Griffin in a lot of uh, Sega Saturn best of lists. Did you ever play Knight's Journey of Dreams for Wii? No, but I have it now. I didn't even know that existed until recently. Jason, do you have a favorite musical? Uh, probably Evita. <laughs> I did. Yeah, pro probably Evita. Then again, I've more to do than simply get the message through. I haven't started. Let's get this show on the road. Let's make it obvious. Perron is off and rolling. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'd l I love Evita. I don't know. It's good. <laughs> I probably have another musical that I, I like more, but Evita's the one that I always think about, so it's, it's probably Evita. My name, thank you for the 999. I weigh 250 and my wife 100. I hurt my back today and they say compression is good. My wife won't let me wear her clothing. Do you know any good divorce lawyers? Also, I will need a new bride, you in? Compression, yeah, compression is good. So sorry, your wife won't let you wear her clothing, I guess. <laughs> I guess you can, you can, you can probably order some stuff that's good for that. <laughs> I imagine I do not know any good divorce lawyers I'm, I'm already taken though, sorry My name <laughs> Again, thank you for the 199 I can supply you with many ants to eat I don't know, I, I got <laughs> I got enough Got enough ants in Florida Oh yeah, I also like, uh, yeah, people are mentioning different musicals, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, it's a lot of musicals I like, have I seen Hamilton? I have not seen Hamilton, I've listened to the soundtrack a bunch though, it's very good. What is the capital of Florida? You have to know this. The capital of Florida. Okay, so I know the actual capital of Florida. I'm trying to think of a joke capital. <laughs> Alligator Town. That's... <laughs> that gator, gator Zone. Heather's the Musical? No. The Heather's Musical is not, not very good, I'll be honest. There's like one good song, and it kind of doesn't really get Heather's, I don't know. I 
I was really excited when I heard there was a Heather's musical, and it was written by one of the people who did, uh, the, uh, oh my god, what, what is it called? Is that, that weed musical? <laughs> what the heck is it called? It was, uh, which is an extraordinary musical. The Heather's musical, though, not very good. <laughs> not, not, not great. Reefer Madness, yeah, they, they, that's the one, the Reefer Madness musical, which if you, if you get a chance to watch that, that is an extraordinary musical, that is, that is truly, not a fan of West Side Story, no, I'm a huge fan of West Side Story, <laughs> I, I love it, but ah but ah da but ah but ah but ah but 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 Boy, boy, crazy boy. <laughs> Book of Mormon, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. The Shrek musical, I haven't seen the, the Shrek musical. Wicked, yeah, it's, I saw Wicked. I enjoyed Wicked. It's not like something a musical that sticks in my head, but it was, it was fine. I enjoyed it. Got a rocket in your pocket. <laughs> Lay off the juice, boy. My name, thank you for the 199. If you had to eat a shark or a jet, which one? If I had to eat one of them. <laughs> you mean one of the, the 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 gang people or one an actual shark or a jet? Music Man, yeah, I like that. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba da 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 Was the uh, li librarian song in that movie? <laughs> it's like one of my. That's that dude's such a creep, <laughs> but I love that song. Marion, Madam Librarian. What can I say, my dear, to catch your ear? I love you madly, madly, Madam Librarian. Marion, heaven help us! <laughs> oh, I like. Uh, I like. I like that song a lot, but yeah, the dude's no good. Do I like the movie Willow? Yes. Are you feeling better? No. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, it's the, it's the best song in the musical, definitely. Tell me the truth. What is the capital of North Carolina? Treeberg. And that's... That's God's honest truth right there. <laughs> Can you juggle? No. Do you have any pogs? Yes, a lot of them. Do you know that National Treasure is only rated PG? Yeah, I mean, that's that makes sense. There's not, not really a whole lot going on in that movie that would be more than that. Jason, did you ever see The Friendly Cashier again? What, you mean at the video game store? I haven't been since then, so, so no. How often do you cry? That's a, that's a very good question. Uh, uh, let's see. Like, I don't often cry from, like, sadness. Like, that probably happens, like, maybe once every two weeks or something. 
And it's not like a lot of crying. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. When I get sad, it's more of a sort of a, a quiet despair rather than <laughs> like an like an emotional crying. I do cry at movies like all the time though, like constantly. It's like it's not even <laughs> doesn't even have to be like particularly sad. There's just like certain moments when uh, a character expresses expresses love or concern or something where I'll just start tearing up, <laughs> tearing up. It's like uh like just to give you an example in uh uh Nightmare Before Christmas when the rockets hit uh Jack's sleigh and he he cries out zero <laughs> I can already feel my feel the tears coming <laughs> just him like see, that that concern in his voice for zero <laughs> uh makes me tear up and then in uh another example in uh what what is it uh uh that Pixar superhero movie the Incredibles uh when the uh, the plane is about to be blown up or something and the mother is like has that moment of absolute fear that her kids are about to <laughs> that her, her kids are about to die and she like covers them with her body and stuff and just the expression on her face the, exp the expression on her face every single time I see that it makes me uh it makes me tear up so stuff like that I'd say about half the movies I watched <laughs> end up tearing up at at some point it doesn't even it doesn't even have to be something like super sad it's just <laughs> it's just I'll start tearing up Are there any games that make you tear up oh I'm sure it, it happens less in games for sure I think games are just kind of uh a lot of them have a much more difficult time setting up characters that you believe are real. My name, thank you for the 199. Do you collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards? No, I did not. I used to collect Pokemon cards. <laughs> that was about it. James, thank you for the $2. Dude, my credit went up by two points. Hell yeah. <laughs> cool, good, jo good job. I have I have no idea what, what my current credit score is. I should probably check that. My bank provides me with it now. Get my credit score my my from my bank. Well, I think that's that's about it for tonight. I'm gonna go and try to get rid of this headache. <laughs> well, thank you for thank you for tuning in, for watching virtual hide glide and some other games, and we'll be back Monday. Not not streaming tomorrow, but I will be back Monday. Uh, Scruffy's going to be gone for about a week, so I'm going to be streaming a little bit longer than I have been. So expect, like, two-hour streams sometimes. Just because I'm going <laughs> to feel real, real alone. Let me tell you, just, just working all day, not really seeing literally anyone many days. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll definitely be streaming more. See you again Monday, Mario. Mario 64, we're gonna be getting some more stars. Finding those stars, trying to defeat the scoundrel Bowser. Grab him by the tail again, spin him around. Have a good, have a good time. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. I, uh, yep, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's all. Farewell, everyone. I love you all. <laughs>